Good morning, Fundy Middle and High School. Today is Thursday, March 18th, and we're your anchors, Kira and May. So, hello everyone, this is my spotlight. I decided to do my spotlight on Evan Carr because I think he has a, a really cool thing that he did. He wrote his article about a salmon conservation trip that he had in Miramichi, which is really cool. I thought it was interesting. I've, I've known Evan for a while. I think he's a cool guy, so I figured I'd just give him the opportunity to talk a little bit more about it because I also am interested in this. Thanks for having me, Graham. It's uh, great to be able to be on here today and talk a little bit about uh, the salmon conservation business. So why did you write this article about salmon conservation? So um, in May, as we know, COVID... Uh, they were shut down, we were home from school, yeah. um, and so typically um, there would be a research team that would go to the Miramichi and do all this um, acoustic tagging as well as deploying receivers. Um, however, because of COVID restrictions, that was not possible. Um, but because my dad, who is who leads the research operations at the Atlantic Salmon Federation, because he and I are in the same bubble, I was able to assist him and go to the Miramichi because I've had experience uh, with salmon conservation uh, trips in the past. Um, so, um, towards the end of the trip, I heard that there'd be a possibility for me to write about um, our experience in the article, because writing is one of my favorite subjects. Awesome, yeah. And uh, so the editor, based in Montreal, said to my dad that I could write an article for the, our trip. So I put pen to paper and I went away at it. What skills did you, did you use when you wrote this article? Obviously, it's a very well-written article. Mm -hmm. so. Well, thank you. Um, so, you know, I just... You know, as I said, mentioned before, I, I like writing. It's one of my favorite subjects, so I kind of um, just kind of let my passion flow when I write. But mm -hmm. I think it's important um, for us to really absorb our English that we learn in high school and middle school because that equips us with the basic writing skills we need to write. So you never know when you're going to be approached to write an article. So you know, I use the basic skills of that, and also um, you know, the different vocabulary words that I use would be picked up from different books I've read and stuff like that. Yeah. So I had to kind of envision in my mind how I wanted to tell the story and how I wanted to paint a picture in people's minds. And that's kind of how you engineer a story and compose it um, so that people can not only get great information, but it's entertaining and that they can follow along as well. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, um, if all goes to plan, I see myself finishing up uh, potentially an arts and science degree at a university. Mm -hmm. And then continuing my education on with that, whether it be environmental law, furthering my art skills, furthering my science skills, mm -hmm. or who knows where else I'll go. Um, where do you see salmon conservation in five years? So uh, right now, salmon conservation, um, they've started a new program in Greenland. Um, so they're tracking salmon with satellite tags, as you can kind of see here. Um, and they attach this to a harness. Um, on the back of the door, on the back, on the door, just underneath the dorsal fin. And these satellite tags can record water temperature, the depth of the salmon, and where the salmon goes. And they're hoping that they can follow the salmon back to the home rivers yeah. from Greenland to try to find out where the salmon are dying and what we can do for conservation. They also tag salmon in their home rivers and track them to Greenland. Furthermore, in five years, I think the technology is going to get better. A tag like this, which is like three quarters the size to half the size of some salmon, um, perhaps will even be 10 times smaller and will be able to be a chip that they can install in the stomach cavity like acoustic tags. Um, I think that's where it's going to go. Technology is going to get smaller. Mm -hmm. Also, technology is going to get better. We'll probably have more ways of tracking salmon and more ways to try to conserve the species. Also, in five years, I think we're going to have more information on, on where the salmon are dying and what we can do to help. And I think more people are going to be um, willing and interested, kind of like shark conservation. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. This challenge is a minute to win it challenge. So the contestant has to slide the eraser and whichever task it lands on, they have 60 seconds to complete it. Okay. You have 60 seconds to name five foods that are yellow. Okay, um, bananas, uh, craft dinner, lemons, Lemonade, cheese. So you have a minute to name five foods that are yellow. Bananas, cheese, lemons, um, uh, uh, I don't.
Skittles. And I don't, Cheez Its. <laughs> Next week is theme day. Monday and Tuesday is Vine and Meme Day. Wednesday and Thursday is Boomer Day. And Friday is Comfy Cozy Day. Boys Rugby meeting first break in Mr. Butler's room this morning for anyone who wants to join. Next Monday is March 22nd, The Great Gulp. This is an eco action that will move us closer to our goal, becoming a certified eco school for the second year in a row. Last year, we participated in The Great Gulp virtually and placed third place in the national competition. Fun fact about The Great Gulp, 91% of the world's plastics aren't recycled. And since plastic doesn't biodegrade in any sort of meaningful sense, those plastics could exist on this earth for hundreds or thousands of years. So please be meaningful once you're done with a plastic bottle and recycle it properly. Kirkpatrick is selling a table that the Essential Skills Kids built in the fall of 2020. It is going to be a raffle, one ticket for $3, two tickets for five, and five tickets for $10. If you're interested, contact Mr. Kirkpatrick for details in, at room 190 at any time of the day. There are 2021 to 2022 credit counseling services of Atlantic Canada scholarships. Apply now. There are $1,000 scholarships available. The deadline is April 30th, 2021, and for more information, go to guidance. There's a healthcare scholarship through Charlotte County Hospital Auxiliary for $1,500. The deadline is August 1st. Seek guidance for applications. For our songs of the week, we have No Rain by Blind Melon. We are here for a good time by Trooper, Another Saturday Night by Cat Stevens, Mr. Jones by Counting Crows, Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus, and today's hint of the day is it's a middle school teacher that loves soccer. Don't forget to guess what teacher's choosing the morning songs. This week's hint is it's a middle school teacher who loves soccer. And now into middle school news. Good morning, Mariner Nation. My name is Bryson. And I'm Anderson. No school on Friday due to professional learning for teachers. Great job to 8A for the art on the middle level floor. That's all from us. Goodbye. Later. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs>